Ever wondered what happens when a hybrid Squatch and his dog walk into an all-you-can-eat buffet in Reno? No? Well, you're about to find out. Our hairy friend Lava Squatch and his faithful companion Roxy found themselves at Toucan Charlie's Buffet, basking in the gastronomic delights that the buffet had to offer. Their bellies were filled to the brim, and spirits were high thanks to their recent windfall of $100 from an impromptu panhandling gig. Lava Squatch, with his larger-than-life appetite, devoured plate after plate, while Roxy, the ever-vigilant dog, made sure no morsel went to waste. They ate like kings, with the confidence of their hundred-dollar fortune reinforcing their sense of well-being. The buffet was a feast fit for a king, and for a moment they were the rulers of their world, feasting on their bounty. As they say, a full stomach can make you feel invincible, and Lava Squatch was no exception. With a belly full of everything, and a pocket full of panhandled cash, Lava Squatch decided to try his luck at the Peppermill Casino. He sauntered up to the roulette table with his faithful sidekick Roxy wagging her tail in anticipation. Not sure how the buffet or casino let Roxy in, but we're going with it. He bet a cool hundred on red, a bold move, but Lava was feeling lucky, or so he thought. The wheel spun, the ball bounced and landed squarely on black 22. And just like that, Faster than you can say roulette, our naive lava squatch was back to square one. Just moments ago, he was on top of the world, dreaming of extravagant steaks and fresh fish by Lake Tahoe. Now he was back to penniless, a harsh reminder that the material world can be as fickle as the spin of a roulette wheel. But hey, isn't that part of the thrill? The unpredictability, the high stakes, the twist of fate. Yes, Lava Squatch was broke, but he was far from beaten. After all, he still had his trusty sidekick, Roxy, a cousin Eddie vintage home on wheels. Not quite sure how that acquisition took form yet. Perhaps a loner, or did Lava Squatch simply steal an RV while walking the grounds at Zephyr Cove? I'm sure a backstory will fill in the details at some point, but nonetheless. Remember the 400 pound guy at the buffet? None of us do, but at some point he said to Lava that there are no free lunches in life. Well, uh, it turns out he was onto something. Our naive Lava Squatch had a rude awakening. His dreams of lounging at Zephyr Cove, feasting on prime cuts of steak and freshly caught fish, were as cooked as the rare steak he'd imagined himself grilling. The moment the roulette wheel revealed Black 22, his hundred dollar fortune vanished faster than a plate of shrimp. Suddenly, the wisdom of the buffet guru, the 400-pound sage of Toucan Charlie's, resonated. There are no free lunches in life. Sasquatch had assumed the man's girth was a testament to his wealth. But now he realized that abundance wasn't about how much you could consume, but how wisely you navigated the buffet of life. Sasquatch had a lot to learn, and the first lesson was that free lunches are well. He has no idea. Just when all hope seemed lost, the roulette dealer, a sage in disguise, suggested something that could turn things around. His fingers, nimble from years of playing with casino chips, pointed Sasquatch and Roxy towards an alternative. Bureau of Land Management, or BLM sites for short. Imagine that, free camping spots scattered across the country like breadcrumbs in a fairy tale, waiting for our wayward wanderers to find them. These sites, the dealer explained, were a sanctuary for nomads, a haven from the dreaded midnight knock of the law when you park in a wrong spot. The idea lit up their minds like a neon casino sign. Sasquatch and Roxy, the dynamic duo, didn't need a jackpot to find their pot of gold. It was there, in the open land, under the twinkling stars, where the only knock they'd hear would be the echo of their own adventures. With a new destination in sight, they hopped into their loner vehicle, we'll call it at this point, ready to embrace the unknown. Now, you might be wondering, what's the allure of a nomadic lifestyle? Well, let me paint a picture for you. Picture a life without schedules, without the humdrum of nine to five. A life where every morning holds a new horizon, a new adventure. It's like being on a permanent road trip with your best friend. That's the life Lava Squatch and Roxy are in the process of embarking on. No, they won't be dining on extravagant steaks at Zephyr Cove or betting their last hundred bucks on red at the Peppermill Casino. They'll be roughing it out in the wilderness, under the stars, cooking up whatever they can find or catch. But you know what? They'll be free. Free from the constraints of society, free from the monotony of routine. So here's the twist. 
Maybe it's not about the destination, but the journey. And for our dear Lava Squatch and his loyal companion Roxy, the journey has just begun.